Hey guys, welcome to We Play World of Tanks. Today I got me and Knuckles go. double tuning in our cute little bat shafts. Aren't they fucking adorable? I'd say. Well, anyhow. Just gonna go. Go all by myself. On the right hand side of the map, Knuckles is gonna go party on the left. Luckily, my bad chat is super camo, OP, faggot. So it only gets spotted whenever I'm shooting. I love it. I love the bad chat for that. You really have to be, you know, right on top of it if it's not shooting to even spot it if he's hiding properly. If he's in the open, it still takes, you know, a little bit of effort to spot him, but still. It's nice. I shoot the fucking handrail on the bridge. Glad that, you know. Has about 400 armor potential. That fucking log, whatever. Gotcha. So, dump my first clip. Switch over to Knuckles. Now, one thing I do notice between me and Knuckles. He, he's a lot more patient than I am. I am complete shit when it comes to patience and not getting shot and not dying. It's a nice shot on the T95. Yeah, yeah, if there's one thing that I'm not, it's patient, to say the least. I just want to get in there and do my damage now and get the fuck out. That's why I do like my auto loaders. I don't. I've only played. Um, yeah, I got the Bat Chat and the 50B. And I love them, I really do. They're fast and mobile. They can get out of a situation really quick. But, um. The aim times on them are just so fucking long. That it really handicaps you at some points. I played the T57 on the test server not not too long ago, and I loved it. Like the firepower, the aim, or yeah, the aim time between shells, the general aim time, and the reload time between shells was all improved. So I don't know. It's a it's a toss up. Some people say 50B, not a lot. I know a lot more guys who will say the fucking. 57 will rule the 50B any day, just because it's got the shorter reload, the faster aim time, and faster shell cycle. But... We shall see. It's a good thing. Although I am by myself over here, I only get to fight tier 8s who have no clue what they're doing. And being the, you know, baddie that I am, I bounce the side of an IS-3. So I feel I have to redeem myself and run up here and try to kill him. But being the scrubbler that I am and bounced him once. I fucking hit something in the fucking way. I do not know what it is. I think it was a bullshit mailbox. Fucking went into the mailbox, sent it straight through the fucking mail to Afghanistan, never to be seen again. Knuckles just being patient, working on the three or four tanks in the middle. Look at that sweet fucking aim time. It takes three goddamn eternities to aim it fully. And usually by that time, if you're trying to get your shots off, you're usually spotted after the first one. By the second one, he's already aimed on to you. You're pretty well fucked. Unless he's like that guy and he doesn't even notice you because you're, you're basically a bush. Me and my watermelon camo. So we're gonna try to kill this IS-3 for a third time. Cause I am a shitlord. Bat chat shitlord. Fuck 
Thank you, I see not this time. So I shoot a rock. I shoot his track. I realize that I can't kill tier eights and I suck, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go hang my head in shame over over here for a bit. Just come to the center, see if I can't help Knuckles out at any. Fucking 5120. Hated that piece of shit. If you like um, tanks with gun elevation and gun depression, don't play that fucking thing. Because it has neither. You have to shoot on a level plane. You can't be any slight on a hill. Luckily, Knuckles is looking over top of the hill at that point to finish off the T95. It's mighty kind of him. Oh, this is just from Knuckles' perspective, the same little middle assault that I did. Well, I guess I killed George Washington. That was the 5120's name. Fuck him. And this poor T95 gets gang raped from 1200 health, I think. Or 1300, I can't fucking read. My window's small right now. But anyways, that ass is fat. It's a fat ass. So, now that I've redeemed myself by killing, you know, a tier 10, make myself feel a little bit better about myself, I'm gonna go party with the tier 8s again. Right now I'm at 4100 damage at 5 kills. I finally learned how to be patient. I became one with the bush. Oh, and from that hill assault, I got hit by Artie for 1400 damage. Then I fell off the hill for another 300, so... In advantage of one shot, I go from full health to like 100 health. So I'm so fucking awesome at what I do. So, top gun, right there. Knuckles is still over on the left hand side now fighting a full health Jag Pans, and I believe there's a 183 over there as well. So I know he's not on my side, otherwise I'd be dead. Like I said, Knuckles is a patient guy. Look at that shit. I've gotten pissed off and just fired through the fucking building. But JPEG is you know, too OP to do that, so he just runs the fucker over. Nearly misses a fucking nasty shot. Aims it. Yes. Nice roll. But Knuckles gets the lowest roll ever. Leaves him on 19 hit points. ST1 takes him out, which is good. FE183 trying to. I don't know what he was doing. I have no fucking clue. And then Knuckles gets one shot off. Leaves him at fucking one hit point. Because he, Knuckles is the master of RNG. Just gonna fake out the M103, make him think I'm running away. But he's having none of that, he's fully aimed in. Gets a side shot on me, but no damage. That would have killed me. So you, you know he's a little bit pissed. That's my seventh kill and 4900 damage. Now I'm out of shells, and the Bat Shat RD is right in front of me. So here comes Super Knuckles to save the day. Look at him. Graciously gliding the planes of Calmer and I don't know what the fuck this map's called. Well, anyways, he's so good at shooting, hits dirt, shoots way right. I don't know where the fuck that shot went, but it wasn't at the bat shot. Next, very last shot, and I just wanted to ram him from 8th kill. 
thought he was funny, that fucker. Well, anyways, thanks for watching.